Tarot Made Simple by Liz Dean, The Ultimate Guide to Casting Spreads and, re and Reaching the Cards. Um, and reading the cards, not reaching. Um, she's the author of The Ultimate Guide to Tarot. And if it's the one that I'm thinking of, I did like that book. So, so having slight hopes for that one when I started reading it. So, unlike other tarot books where you have a chapter on the Major Arcana, the Minor, Core Cards, all, each card is on the bottom half of each page. So the I, the entire book is like the main chunk of like information of the book that you would read for information. Yeah, is like seventy nine pages, and you on each half, bottom half of the page is each card, and you get an upright meaning, upright and reversal meaning for each card. So you get a picture of it and the two up, upward and reversed meaning. Nothing else, like no really, like you don't get like keywords and then any other type of like description of the card. You just get those two meanings, which is like a breeze to go through if you just want that. And it's a pro if you just want the meaning of an upright, Ace of Swords or a reversed King of Pentacles. If you do, but it is a con if you don't do reversed cards. So <laughs> there's pros and cons to having that there. So you get introduction, attuning your cards, and other topics, and you get different spreads. And so on the top part, you get all this type of information. Like you get the information, you get different spreads, you get like the classic Celtic, um, Celtic cross and a few other spreads shown. So you got that and then the card information below it. So it tells what it is about. So states to pretty much shuffle and draw cards out unless it tells you to take one card out first to lay it out face down and then face up and you get the interpretation of it but for the picture of the spread all pretty much pretty much every time all the cards are face down so again it's not a long book it's pretty much once she's run out of a tarot card when she's run out of the tarot cards, she kind of like ends the book. But <laughs> so in a way, like for me, that's there's nothing else fancy. She's she didn't add any extra chapters or books, not chapters, not books, but pages, chapters or pages by dividing them up into here's a chapter on the Here's like two, three chapters about the cards, and then here's the chapters of information. She's got them all, she's got them both on the same page. And I know I screenshotted one or two pages of this. So, don't glare. So this is what I'm talking about. On the top part you got the information and the bottom part you got the card. So uh, in a way like the bolded text would be the, like the keyword. So this is the hermit. Analyze inner work and the alone, a need for reflection and quiet learning, healing after trauma, also the artist's or writer's card indicating productive solitude may also indicate a physical journey that feeds the mind and soul. So. Ah, so this is what, like, the spread would, um, a spread image, like, page would look like. You got that, and then the card. And then 
random other you get sometimes you get random other stuff attached to the like spread as well or you kind of get like what you would kind of envision the spread to look like <laughs> but yeah I I liked this interpretation of the information and cards so <laughs> thumbs up for me so yeah Tarot Made Simple by Liz Dean. Happy readings.